All right, Shalom, Akim. I'll start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Harakakotash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, I'm going to give double honor to the elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well, are great examples unto the flock, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the house of David. Those that will be chosen for salvation that give their life and diligence to earn their salvation. Shalom unto you. I got a quick video, and basically the video is about this white privilege, man. You know, this is the end of this thing, man. This is the end of, of the white man's society, so his pride is on all-time high, okay? Because he truly believes being an Edomite or being white, you know, which are Edomites are the so-called white people scattered across the four corners of the earth, you know, uh, ruling the earth, the, earth, the earth right about now. You know, and he really believes that he will rule the world forever. Okay, which was the birthright that was given to Jacob that was he was supplanted for. Okay, Esau got supplanted for the birthright by his brother Jacob. Okay, but it was all according to prophecy. But since he has dominion over the earth right now, and you can read this in Genesis, the 25th chapter, Genesis, the 27th chapter. About how that played out, from the prophecy to to the to the selling of his birthright for for uncooked pottage, you know, even until Jacob supplanted Esau, and Esau uh, vowing to um to kill Jacob, he will slay his brother Jacob. Okay. Well, um, this still plays out on the earth today. All right, this still plays out on the earth today. And we got a story right here from a uh, brother posted it on uh, World Star Hip uh, from World Star Hip Hop. It's shaking my head. Cops point gun at a dude with both hands out of his car window because he isn't white. All right. So I'm going to play the video, pull some scripts. And as a matter of fact, I have another article also. We'll get into them both a little bit. All right. Here we go. Those are not white. Bullshit, bro. I hope they don't kill. Unbelievable, right? Well, it really is believable because if you know the history of the so-called white man who are the Edomites, and it's not us according to skin color. That's just an easy way for uh, for people to identify with him. But for you Edomites out there, it, it, it's, it's, it's nothing new. This has been one of your, your inner, most deepest secret agendas. And it's never been that secret over a few hundred years ago. It hasn't been secret, okay? You're just now trying to hide it in the public eye. But you ain't never stopped your agenda of killing the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? A lot of people think it's just the so-called Negroes or the blacks, right? But he always had a, an agenda to kill the Negro, Latino, and Native American. Okay, and and it's still in full fruition. He's still pushing and executing that plan. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a couple scripts right quick. Um, go into the Bible. In fact, I had to open die, but I'm gonna go to something else first. Bear with me. Okay, we got Job chapter nine verse twenty four said, "The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he?" Yeah, and this is an important scripture because the Most High chose the Edomites to be the wicked on the planet Earth, okay? And the Edomites are not done away with. They're the incarnation of, of Satan and the wicked upon the Earth. They're the so-called white people you, on the Earth today, okay? You Caucasians, the Khazar Empire, all, all of you, you Edomites, man. You guys are the Edomites, all right? He, uh, he chose you 
to have this dominion as, as, as Isaac had blessed him with back in Genesis 27 to have the dominion of the earth. And this is it. This is how you will rule your, your world if you had it. You would destroy it. Okay? And he says uh, he gave the world to you because, you know, you, you he, the, the Most High giveth the world to whom he will. Okay? You can go to Daniel and see that. You can go to um, uh, 1 Samuel, the second chapter, and see that. I believe it's Daniel the twelfth chapter. No, no, Daniel the um the, the seventh chapter. It says that, okay. Or I believe that's where it's at. But um, yeah. So he gave it to you, so-called white people, you Edomites, and this is what you do with it. Plus, this is the proof that he that um that you're the whipping stick of the Most High, so he can punish his people Israel, because we've been we've never been further away from the Most High than right now. You know, which proves he, so he doesn't destroy us all. He has to come back, send his son Yahweh Shai back to, to save us, okay? And an elect out of us and kill the two thirds that'll never get right uh, in this life until after death by pain, okay? Now, hold, pardon me one second. We'll go to another scripture real quick. Uh, so after um, Esau's rule of the earth, you know, after the earth was given unto the wicked. The Israelites will inherit it back, but we'll be in righteousness when we get it back, okay? And Ezra asked a question to the angel, and this is the answer he got, okay? He says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of, of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So after Esau's rule, the so-called white man's rule, the wicked, who was given the planet of the earth, he covered the faces of the judges thereof, we're the ones that have next after that. And you can watch every um, energy lead toward that. Okay? You can see the vibration of the earth leaning toward that. You can see how, how the, 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 the you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are banding together on these street corners, waking up to you're the children of Israel. The Edomites are starting to understand that they're the Edomites the Bible speaks of, and they're about trying to go hard on you. Okay? All of this is, is playing out. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is, is, is flourishing in the earth among the elect, among the men of the Lord. Okay? The internet is flooded with it. Okay? And folly is, 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 is all over the place as well. The two-thirds are getting worse, and the men of the Lord are getting better, okay? You can see that this time, that, that uh, like the scriptures say, uh, the, 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 it overfloweth with fats of the, of the blood of the grape, okay? This time is ready when it's talking about the wine press, okay? This time is now. Now it's time that we, we filled it, the Most High has filled the earth with grapes, and now the time to um to do it. World War Three on the brink. You can see all the the signs of the end times of this so-called white man's kingdom is over. Okay, Esau's kingdom is over. He's going down. Okay, and the rise of the Israelites are coming up. And there's nothing that anybody on the earth can do to stop it. Okay, it's according to the Most High's prophecy and His plan. All right. So from there, we'll go to another script. Hold on, with one second. Okay, this is Hebrews the twelfth chapter. I'm going to go straight to the point, verse 16 and 17. It says, um, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, profane meaning outside the temple. Outside what temple? The temple of the Most High. Okay? And you look at what Esau does, and you Edomites do, it's always contrary to what the righteousness of the Most High does. By nature, you, you can't do righteousness by nature. You know? Your natural thing to be is wicked. Okay? Because that's how you were created. You know, when you do righteousness, it it, it, it it stains your soul. It goes against what you would naturally want to do, just like us Israelites. Naturally, we don't want to do wickedly. But the, the two-thirds, they're just so used to doing it, that's just part of what they do. Okay, so they have to be destroyed for that, okay? Then we're only going to know righteousness in the kingdom of heaven, okay? But the men of the Lord, we're trying to, to perpetuate righteousness in the earth, all right? It says, uh, as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You can see that in Genesis the 25th chapter. For ye know how af that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, 
He sold his birthright in the 25th chapter. 26th chapter, Jacob uh, supplanted him for it. Okay. And then after he would have received the blessing, inherited the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. This man does not repent for what he does. Okay. He will not repent for what he does. He has so much pride on him. He doesn't repent because like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, because in fact, I'm going to just get it. So though he saw it carefully with tears. So let me go to the next one. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Most of the, the, the Edomites believe that the Most High is not going to judge them for this. Okay. That they're just going to continue doing wickedness after wickedness. They're going to fulfill their new world order because they're the Illuminati. Okay. They, they just think they're going to fulfill the new world order with the mark of the beast and control of the whole earth. And in another sense, going round about to get their birthright. Well, it's not going to happen that way. Okay. The Most High is not going to allow to do that. Okay. But they really believe that they're going to continue to just do this forever and ever and destroy Israelites and then, like the Georgia Guidestone says, knock down the population uh, from 7 billion to 500 million people on the earth, you know, and they're going to control it from that point. Well, the Most High has other plans for that, okay? Because this man believes he can do that because he, he has pride on him, okay? I'm going to go to a couple of scriptures and I'm going to go back. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to go to those scriptures and uh, hold on. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that goes for you two-thirds of Israelites as well. But the so-called white man, he had the most pride on earth thinking he can't be taken down. Okay? He really believes he cannot be taken down. But he but he will be uh, he's sadly mistaken. The Most High is going to thresh him down. Okay? Go to, um, back to the article. I got a different article real quick. Okay, I got another article here on RT.com. This one's from a few days back. This was August the 9th. It was edited the 8th. It came out. But it says, uh, a woman, it says, I'm a clean, thoroughbred white girl. DUI suspect tries to avoid arrest. Okay, you can see she's there taking a mugshot, right? It says a South Carolina woman who was caught speeding and driving under the influence of alcohol told police officers that she shouldn't be arrested because she is a very clean, thoroughbred white girl. <laughs> white privilege, man. Walking in great pride. That white skin is going to be a curse unto you when you become the chase row. Okay? Most High is going to chase you people down, man. He's going to hunt you people. Okay? It says a South Carolina woman, or matter of fact, down, it says the 32 year old woman, Lauren Elizabeth Cutshaw, was pulled over by police in Bluffton, Beaufort County, after she ran a stop sign while driving drunk for more than 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, reported the island packet. According to details, in the police report, she told officers she's only had two glasses of wine, but when they questioned how large the glasses were, she responded, I mean, I was celebrating my birthday. I'm a clean white, I'm a white clean girl, she said, adding, you're a cop, you should know what that means. <laughs> when she asked, it says, when asked about the relevance of her statement, it's pretty funny with Woody Harrelson. It says, uh, Kushaw went on to list a host of additional reasons why she shouldn't be arrested. These include the fact that she was a former cheerleader and sorority girl, had perfect grades and graduated from a high accredited university and had a partner who worked as a police officer. The police report also described the woman's eyes as bloodshot and glossy and stated she was slurring her words and noted the smell of alcohol in the car. A breathalyzer test found that Cutshaw had a 0.18% blood alcohol level. In most places, I know in California, it's 0.01. I mean, uh, 0.08. She had a 
eight. Okay, so she was over the limit. It said despite her arguments, she was arrested for driving under the influence as well as speeding, disregarding the stop sign, simple possession of marijuana, and possession of drug paraphernalia charges, according to the jail log. And what's funny is with all that, most of that is going to get thrown out anyway. It's because white privilege is real, man. It's so real. This woman felt confident and full of pride to say that she should be she should get off for it. it said making statements such as these as a means to justify this quote making statements such as these as a means to justify not being arrested are unusual in my experience as a law enforcement officer, and I believe further demonstrates the suspect's level of intoxication. Bullshit, because a lot of times. White people get off. You watch Dave Chappelle's joke, and I think it was uh, Killing Him Softly, he told a joke. He said his friend turned the, mu the music up, we're not gonna take it, right? And then he says, uh, <laughs> uh, when they uh, come up to the thing, he said, officer, what the hell did you pull me over for? And we're like, ooh, don't, you know? You know? You fuck with cops and talk to cops crazy. As a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you can't talk to cops that way. That's a hostile attitude, and they are immediately will, will treat you as a hostile. You know, you can't make statements like that. Uh, hey, hey, I'm a good person. I've done nothing wrong my whole life. They don't care. They're going to run you. They're going to charge you with something. They're going to put you in the system. This is, I speak from experience, okay? Anyway, it says, uh, the officer wrote in the report, it said the woman was booked into the Beaufort County Detention Center. The shoulder mugshot. Showed her mugshot up here, right? So she did get, uh, go to jail that night. Probably sobered up, got out on OR or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me go back to scriptures. Because um, it doesn't matter when the Lord judges. He don't judge as a man judges. Okay? He's going to judge you according to what he wants. Okay? So let me... Uh, so this is further proven... Your time is almost up, you Edomites, okay? This is Obadiah, your, 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 your favorite chapter, right? This is the chapter that you Edomites never want to bring out, okay? Because this is a condemning chapter, uh, you know, testimony by uh, Obadiah, vision by Obadiah. It said, the vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord Power, Yahweh, concerning Edom. So it knows you're talking about you Edomites. It says, uh, we have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made you small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Everybody in the earth is starting to hate you. Okay? Verse 3, the point, he says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. The lady went to jail that night, and as much as you think your new world order is going to uh, prosper, you think that white privilege is going to prevail, no, the Most High is going to throw you down. Okay? No matter how bad you treat these two-thirds of the Israelites, the Most High is still going to get you back for that. Okay? Even the men of the Lord, he's going to get you back for what you do against the men of the Lord when that day comes. Okay? It says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Okay? Cave dwellers. Okay? Caucasian means cave dweller. All right? Which ties you right back into um, Mount Seir or Petra, which ties you back into... um. Cain, all right, it says, uh, whose habitation is high, and saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, thinking nobody can bring you down and humble you, you know, when you humble, you fake humble, because it's always work, because ex judgment isn't executed speedily, the heart of the, of the wicked is fully set in to do, do, do evil, okay, Heart of the sons of men set them, fully set them to do evil. You really believe you're going to make it through this? Well, well, all you in certain parts of the earth and in America, yeah, you are going to make it. You're going to make it to go right into slavery. Okay? And after your judgment of slavery and your, your tenure <laughs> and your sentence of slavery is served, then he will eradicate you off the planet, man. Thus said the Bible. All right? To tie you further in, to show you that you were the Greeks, you were the Romans, and you are these uh, Americans and, 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 and prideful as uh, nations, UN nations especially, but you nations across the earth. It says, Thou 
though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, who 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 hold their symbols as the eagle? The Roman Empire did, the Greeks did, and the Americans do. Okay? It says, uh, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, you know you had a pride to go up into heaven, thence will I bring thee down, thus saith the Lord. The moment you went into space, the most high uh, start bringing his truth out and start that that was with the beginning of your decline okay so so like it says in, in the book of uh revelation the 12th chapter you must know that this man is gonna um is gonna come down with great wrath because he knew that he had but a short time okay so he's coming but he his short time is almost up man he have he have given him bounds that he cannot cross all right so with that, I'm going to close out. Lord willing, you're edified, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahashai, by Hashem, Arakakwadash, that belong to the elder apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom.